Hello and welcome to Kittrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Elm Creek and today we're gonna finally be wrapping up the last of our drilling here. We've got some barley that we're gonna be putting into this last field so that we can kind of compare and contrast the different crop types here and then we're going to attempt to do I think a little bit of rolling here. I want to see if we're gonna be able to roll once the crops have already sprouted or if that's something that we've got to do in this uh initial seeded state here i'm really not sure how that's gonna work so i figured what better way to figure it out than to test it out in the episode here so we're gonna be jumping into that we've been playing around with a lot of things with farming simulator 22 off camera here i uh, had a small lapse in our episodes over the last several days as i was uh traveling with the family for thanksgiving as i'm sure many any others have uh, done as well here and so now we're back at things and excited to kind of see where things are going there's been a lot of mods coming out here for the game in the last uh, several days so I'm really excited to kind of give it a try and start playing with a lot of the different mods that are coming out here so we're gonna continue to try new things continue to do some of our own conversions I've got a few things in the works that I'm really excited about that I will hopefully be able able to show off here soon oh my goodness we're all over the place though we're gonna have to uh straighten this out just a little bit and at least try the plant in the field here but uh i'm really excited for all the things that have been coming out here in farming simulator 22 all the mods that are hitting right out of the gate here and so there's a lot of things that we want to kind of attempt to get done here in our initial series on elm creek before the first modded map comes out which if any of the early Early indicators on Facebook are assigned we could have our first modded map very soon it seems like so we've got some headland passes taken off here our uh, outside rows a little squiggly so maybe we'll try and do this I'm gonna put this arm down out here just to see what that's gonna look like we haven't really messed with planter arms yet in this edition and so it'll be fun to see what happens here as we get to the end i've always thought that the planter arm should automatically raise up here when you raise the planter it looks like i'm gonna have to set it back down in order to fix that oh and we missed a couple inches there that's going to be infuriating later now the whole point of uh using our our marker arm here is to get in cab and drive down the line here using our hood ornament as a guide and if we look back behind us here it looks like we're doing a decent job we didn't have a marker for the entire length of the field here though looks like I missed just the smallest little bit back there we've got to be careful not to run over the neighbor's corn here now this drill is probably a bit oversized for our farm at its current iteration but it is only a lease so i don't feel too guilty about upsizing our equipment here it's going to allow us to get this job done just a little bit faster now i'm gonna have to gear down a bit here going up this hill our rpms are dropping the tractor's kind of bogging out and we've got this big old telephone pole here i probably should have backed up but i think there's just enough room on the road here that i can sneak around here avoid hitting that guard wire we're running low on seed here as well not much barley left in the hopper so we're really really hoping we can get this uh next pass done here before we run out down to one percent seed in the hopper now it looks like there's gonna be more than a single pass it looks like i'm gonna have to make uh, a smaller pass to kind of clean up a few of the missing rows here but that's all right we should have enough if just we used up i think around 30 liters of seed here on the way down and we've got 40 something left in there it's gonna be close that's for sure all right we made it to the end we've got 11 liters of seed left in the drill but we've got uh, a little bit more of this area left than i was expecting so i'm really not thinking we're gonna get uh get done with 
this field here we're gonna have a little spot left and i'm not sure i want to buy the additional seed here so we're gonna just lift up here and have this annoying row of shame here in the middle of our field i don't know what do you guys think i guess i could run up to the store with our pickup and get one more pallet of seed we should probably do that all right let's turn this around get it uh set up here to finish this bit we're really doing a number turning around on these headlands i do like the new tire tracks here in fs22 all right we're gonna leave this here and go run up to the shop and buy one more uh pallet of seed here all right we're up here at the shop we've got our pallet of seed all purchased so we're gonna go ahead and hop in this wheel loader here and get it loaded up it doesn't sound like they've got anybody around to load us up and i'm not sure where the forklift is right now and so this wheel loader is definitely overkill for getting a pallet of seed into the back of our tiny little pickup truck but you use the equipment that you have on hand so we're gonna grab this here real quick and uh maybe we'll see if we can do this in cab here i feel like we're going to uh rush the bed of our truck here i also feel like i'd probably have somebody standing out there in real life up and guide me into the bed of a truck with such a large wheel loader here so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get that off the forks like so looks like it's working and then we're gonna just give it a push here there we go we'll try this this ought to be a little bit uh easier on the back of the pickup something like that and hopefully we can just uh ratchet that down close up the tailgate oh so close oh uh, well it is what it is it's not gonna push Push in any further with the way the wheel wells are there i guess i could leave the tailgate down hopefully uh not get a ticket on that one we've got it strapped down right folks it should be fine so let's get this ran up to the farm i'm really hoping that when we get up here once we unload a good chunk of this into the cedar we'll be able to get the rest of these bags out of the back of the pickup with any luck it'll all fit in the cedar and then we can just dump it back out onto a pellet after the fact not exactly realistic but when it comes to farm sim you take what you can get sometimes all right we're gonna just bring this right up here to the back of the cedar hop up here and fill ourselves up looks like it's working like a charm in fact let's jump back here and get this pickup out of the way here we'll just back it up gently down the uh side here i'll park it right over here in the grass out of the way hopefully all right let's get everything fired up and tackle this last little bit that was quite a hassle for you know i don't know 100 feet of field here but we don't have that much land we can't afford to not be seeding a good chunk of it like that we're gonna do what we need to do here in fact i'm probably gonna spin around here ever so quickly and we'll grab this little spot as well since we've got the time and the seed everything's out here there we go that's not too shabby so let's get this up to the end of the field we're gonna get it all folded up once we get to the end here and then we'll take this back up to the yard and empty it out and we'll be able to store those pallets of dry fertilizer and seed for next year then we can actually return this thing to the shop get rid of our least equipment here all right i think we're gonna end up keeping our seed in this shed is my guess so we're gonna stop here and dump that all out we've got two pallets of seed and a pallet of dry fertilizer awesome so i'm gonna just just run this back up to the shop here real quick we'll get it turned in and check back in up here at the farm all right we've got this all up here and dropped off i think we're gonna go ahead and head on into the shop here and see if they've got a roller we can lease it looks like there's a couple of rollers available this is definitely out of my price range for what i want to buy right now however looking at this thing this would be more than big enough for our field and we've got a lease option what What's our lease it looks like about 2000 2100 here to lease it we should be able to get all of our rolling done in a day i don't know if it's going to improve our yield by two thousand dollars but i don't know 
I kind of want to try it and see how it works. We've got fields in different states, so this will be a good test of how the roller mechanics work. I tried to do it in a live stream here not too long ago, and we just ran into all kinds of problems. And so when uh, something fails, let's go ahead and give it another try here and see what we can uh, come up with. So we're coming back up here to the farm with this roller. I think the first field that we're gonna roll is this one right up here in front of the house oh man this thing is uh even wider than i was anticipating so we're gonna get this all unfolded here and back it up a bit and i think what i want to do is i really want to test whether or not this roller is gonna work on a field that's already come up i know in real life you love to roll kind of in this state but uh you can also roll over things that have propped up. Now, I'm noticing the ground texture change, so I'm coming in here just to look and make sure that this is still showing as growing after I've run over a few feet here. We've got to get in here with a plow and some lime at some point, but it looks like everything else is A-OK, -okay. so I'm going to keep rolling. We're going to see that these rocks are definitely disappearing, so that's a a good thing and I'm really curious to see if we can roll into this next field and understand what might happen there I do have crop destruction turned on I believe let's double check our settings crop destruction is on so we're in an early growth state here I don't expect to destroy them from that and it looks like the roller is actually running over them in this early state as well whether it's doing anything i don't know so i'm gonna see if i can find any rocks here um looking around it's kind of hard to see through the growth state i don't know if they still show up here or not but i'm definitely able to run the roller over them this might have been a field that i used the rock picker on here i'm not seeing any rocks anywhere but we're gonna just keep going here with it and see if we can manage to knock any rocks out that might exist here it doesn't look like we're doing any harm to our actual crop so we're gonna just keep going with it and hope this is doing some good either way i don't think we're gonna put enough hours on this roller to really be concerned with the extra work here in this field and so it can only help things at this point i do enjoy the sounds that we've got here you've got the rattle noise here of the roller we're uh in a road gear here though let's uh knock our gears down here a little bit our tractor may uh perform just a bit better here it looks like get up to seven miles an hour now maybe if i go down one more gear here looks like we'll be in a better spot running at uh our uh, what i what farm sim seems to think working rpms is somewhere up around that 20,000 rpms is where i find the tractor seems to perform the best so we're gonna go ahead and target that i am also enjoying the multi-terrain angle uh aspects here seems to work pretty well we got a nice curve there around the field we're gonna have to come back for one little sliver there looks like we're just not quite wide enough probably because we hugged outside the field a little much on the uh, previous pass but that's okay and here on our other field it's even harder to tell where we've been and so we'll probably just continue to hug a little bit to the left here and then as we turn around I'll uh, just kind of overlap where we've been I think we'll probably use the far field as our indicator and just try and target it I've still got my hazard lights on here from bringing this thing down the road so we're going to uh turn those off now as well there we go so i'm gonna just toss this back down we'll roll this one last bit and i'm kind of looking at this other field it looks like we did a really good job rolling there might be just a couple of rocks here we'll run down here and try and hit it regardless i'm thinking that there's probably only one or two uh bits of rock here that we've missed all right so that feels
shields all rolled. Now, ideally, I would have been able to squeeze over here to the other small field, but I think we're going to fold this up and uh, use that to help us get around here. Toss this up into a higher gear while we're moving around in the yard. Now, I did rock pick this field for sure, but uh, we've got the roller. We might as well give it a roll here, I think. Here we go. This will only take a couple of passes. Run, dear, run. All right, we're on to the last field here that we've got, which is probably the one that needs the most rolling. Look at all these deer by our truck. That's four deer by the truck. They, uh, we must have spilt some seed when we were getting it out of the truck there. They are, uh, going to town. I really love that these deer are just going to hang out here. That's epic. All right. Well, we'll see if we can scare them away here with some friendly rolling. Get backed up here and away we go. There they go. They're running. They scattered in all four directions too. Oh, we missed some rocks there. We got to pay attention to what we're doing, not just watching all the wildlife. So I have to say rolling is working quite a bit better than the rock picking did. Although I am starting to understand that they should serve different purposes so I can't wait to do some deeper tillage here after our next harvest and just kind of see how things work after plowing I understand we're supposed to be getting some bigger rocks from the plowing so we'll have to reserve judgment here on rolling versus rock picking until we can uh, actually see uh, what the bigger rocks look like and how that works with the rock picker uh, however this is something that if we're going to leave rocks in the game we're probably going to need to pick up one of these rollers so we're not having to lease it every time it's not that expensive but we're going to hold off until next season for that hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode if you have hit that like button it helps the channel out immensely we're going to wrap things up here since we're all done with our rolling we'll check back in next episode with uh, some new mods so stay tuned that's all for today Ketterk out. Now, this uh, drill... <clears throat> oh, hey, we've got left turn blinkers. We should use them on the Ketterk Farms channel here. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to cut all that out.